Hello, and today I'd like to quickly go through how you can get TSM set up for WoW Classic. Now, it's very much early days at the moment, so some things will kind of work, some things won't. TSM normally uses the Blizzard API to store all the accounting data for your realm. Now, none of this currently exists in Classic, so we're going to have to use another add-on, either Auctioneer or Auctionator, that will do manual scans of your auction house data and then TSM will be able to hook into that and use that as market data for you to be able to set up some basic operations and things like that. Not quite as comprehensive as it is with the retail version but with no API this is the best we can do at the moment so it's all kind of a bit of a workaround at the moment. Auctioneer and Auctionator aren't fully released yet so in order to find working versions you have to kind of scour the internet to find some sort of like hacks and fixes that other people have done. So I'll show you what I've done for the moment. So first you've got your regular version of TSM here um, with the app helper uh, 4.8.2. Now what you need to do is get this version over to Classic so that Classic can read it. Don't worry if it says it's an out of date add-on, just ignore that and it should all kind of work. So there's two ways you can probably do this. Um, one you could copy it from your retail folder into your Classic folder. The other way you can get the add-on is to use your Twitch client to automatically install it and keep it up to date that way and that keeps it separate with the classic version. So go into your Twitch client, go into your mods, so World of Warcraft, and then you should have two drop down versions. The main ones here are classic and retail. So go into the classic one, browse for add-ons, and then you can do a search for trade and trade skill master should come up and you can click install there. That way you can get it updated using the, the Twitch client quite easily and that's a nice fresh install as well. So with that installed, we also need to find a auctioneer or auctionator. Now I was able to find this quick fix auctionator version. I'll put a link to this in the description below. This will obviously change as newer versions get released. So I'll try and keep it up to date if I find other versions. But for now I'm using this one because all I really want to use it for is the ability to scan the auction house. So I'll download this one. So I'll copy it from here and I'll put it in my World of Warcraft folder and I'll put it in the classic subfolder interface add-ons and paste it in there and then extract it out of there. So there we have auctionator and all the relevant bits and pieces in there. So with those two add-ons we now need to go into WoW and get it all set up. And we're in. Okay, so this is the error message that you'd get up um, that's saying they're out of date. So we're just going to load them anyway. Click OK on that. And enter world. Okay, so TSM starts off by saying it's currently rebuilding the item cache and may cause uh, a little bit of lag. And then it's done rebuilding the item cache. So what we first need to do is go to an auction house and actually start scanning it. So click up an auction here. Now we don't want the uh, TSM interface, we want to switch to the WoW interface. Now you can't quite see here but just on the right hand side here is the more button and if you click on that you'll have a full scan just here. So this is from Auctionator so we'll click full scan and it'll say Scan, start scanning. It's never been scanned before. So it's going to scan everything, 11,000 items. And that's all scanned and it's all done. So you click done. So what you need to do is get into a routine of every time you log on, maybe do an auction house scan. And before you log off, maybe do another scan just to keep it up to date. The more frequently you do it, the more accurate your data will be over time. So we're not actually going to use auctionator as an add-on itself. I mean it is a, uh, a very good add-on in itself. When it's fully working I'm sure that uh, many people want to use that over something like TSM. But for now we're going to go back into TSM. So the thing to think about here is TSM normally uses DB Market, DB Historical and all those kind of things we used to use but we don't have access to any of those price sources anymore because the API is no longer here. We have to use the auctionator data that we've just got. So if you go to your chat and type slash TSM sources, you'll get a list here of all the different sources. Now a lot of these ones here, all these DB region ones, DB market, 
these ones are not valid. Without the API, it's no good to us. So the only thing we can really use is this ATR value, auction A to auction value. So that's going to be the thing we're going to be using instead of DB market or anything else. So we're going to have to go through and change a few things in TSM and use ATR value instead. Now a common error is to misspell that ART value. So remember to spell it ATR value. So we'll go into our TSM settings. Okay, so all the, the base group uh, has all the basic operations on it. And so these basic default operations won't actually work because they'll be referencing things like, if you go down here, DB market and all that sort of stuff. But we'll get to that in a moment. First and foremost, we need to go into here and change a few of the basic settings. So general options, filter group item list based on the following price source. We'll change DB market here to ATR value. It doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase. Remember to press enter whenever you're putting anything in to get it to work. If it does reset for any reason, have a look in the chat window and see if TSM's telling you anything from a error point of view. I'll we'll go through this, just change a few things. So now in the crafting options, DB market won't work and convert DB market won't work. So let's replace both of these with ATR value and here on convert, ATR value, so that's for the material cost price of everything. And then the default craft value method, we'll just use, well, we don't need a first for this because there's no DB min or anything else. We'll just use ATR value here. Macros I haven't set up yet. And then market value price source here under shopping sniper, ATR value. And then if we carry on down here, buyout confirmation alert, let's do this and change this all as default to 200% ATR value. And put that in there. And then vendoring, market value price source again. We'll just change that to ATR value. There we go. So those are all gone in fine. Now the thing to check next is the operations. The default ones won't work in their current format. If I would always recommend that you make your own operations anyway, but if you do want to use the default ones, you'll have to go through and change them. So say for example, this one has check first between crafting, DB market, DB region market average, the max between 25% of the average between crafting, DB market, DB region market average, and vendor sell. So that's a pretty long string. Uh, you could probably simplify this all down to just ATR value. Keep it simple for now. Things are likely to change as things go on. So I would say maybe, um, say, 70% ATR value. And then a maximum price of, you could put something in like 300% ATR value. And then the normal price, maybe something like 120% atr value as a rough example and then you've got also things like the crafting the default now you can see here because we changed the settings the craft value method is here at atr value which is pretty good and then all the others should be fine the sniper one ah there we go the shopping one is db market you'd want to change that to atr value the sniper string is going to be the one that's really not going to work for that. So rather than use this big long string, which is really good for what it does, I would really recommend setting up your own groups for specific items and then thinking of the price you want to sell those items for or want to catch those at a reasonable price and use something between say average buy or ATR value or some percentage of that. Say for example, say you wanted to catch anything at 90% ATR value to find any bargains or you could put that even lower maybe make that 50% vendoring the market value here is coming in at DB market ATR value again I don't use these uh, default ones myself very often I tend to prefer to use my own but those are there for the moment in case you wanted them so now it would be a case of looking at your auctions, you go through and you switch to this, you go here and you do a full scan, do a scan. So a few more items in the database, another 69. And then if we look at our 
items, say in our bags, say refreshing spring water, you've now got vendor price and an auction price, which is part of um, Auctionator, giving you an average auction price for that item. I'd also recommend in your tooltip settings to turn on all the standard things that give you a good idea as to what everything should look like, including sale rate, it's probably not going to be useful actually, auctioning values, material cost, materials and tooltip. This is what I, I prefer to use. So now you can see because of the default we have a min normal max price on that. That's 13 copper, 22 copper and 54 copper. The vendor buy price is uh, 25 copper and the vendor sell price is 1 copper. So now we've got some information, you can start making our groups. Say maybe you want to sell some linen cloth or find some cheap linen cloth. It's all set up for you to use as you would in the retail version. You just got to remember that DB Market and anything custom like that isn't going to work and you're going to have to use ATR value or if um, Auctioneer is working, I believe that has a few different values. Whatever you use, use slash TSM source, find out which data you've got access to and then change all your prices that TSM is basically referencing from that. Now obviously more of this will come out as time goes on and things will develop. TSM will go through some rapid updates I'm pretty sure as the team work on this. So that will just hopefully get you started and I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of gold we can make in Classic. It's a completely different market now. Um, it's not like vanilla either because we have access to tools like this. People have done it all once before so it really is a, a whole new market. So I hope you found that useful. If you do have any questions, please put them down in the comments below. There is also the WoW Economy Discord. There is a specific thread in there just for support for WoW Classic. It's um, highly active, so I do recommend popping in there. The Discord is probably the best place to ask your questions. Um, but if you've got anything specific about what I've done here, then put them in the comments below. So until next time, happy gold making, whether it's classic or retail, and I'll see you very soon.